All right, this is our NFL coaching changes uh, segment. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six incredible sports books. You can read about all of them at tunicatravel.com. Go check that thing out. You can find more about us over at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump into it. There's only been a few, uh, just a, a handful of hires. Uh, the Packers hire Titans OC Matt LaFleur. Um, the 22nd best offense in the NFL, Matt LaFleur. Hey, baby. It, I, see, it, I see what you're doing there, Green Bay. Th- this is all Sean McVay. I don't have any this is all Sean McVay. They're doing. No, they, they want it, it. Teams want anything that is close to Sean McVay right now. I don't, I don't understand I don't, it. I don't think that's smart. I don't think it is either. I don't Go out and smart. find the best guy. Like, Frank Reich had nothing to do with Sean McVay, and he is killing it in Indianapolis right now. Correct. So, I, I just – I don't understand it. Now, watch watch LaFleur go out and win, like, 11 games next year. <laughs> but, happen. I mean, you know, we've said crazy things. We, we didn't think highly of McVay when he went to L.A. I don't know that I didn't think highly. I just thought he was a child. Is this not the same thing? No, this isn't the same thing. You've got one guy that's an elite athlete, but is totally uncoachable, and you just brought another guy with no experience at all at being a head coach, had five minutes of experience being an offensive coordinator. Well, play caller. I mean, he was OC under McVay. Okay. Sure but he like, was. In title only. Yeah, I know. I um, know. And, and that's it. Like, that's going to work out well. I, I can't you just believe gave, You just gave Aaron Rodgers someone who is not going to hold him accountable or be tough on him at all. Which makes you wonder if uh, if Rodgers was involved in the process. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got that. Oh, yeah, I'll take that guy. Yeah, that guy's not going to push me around at all. Cardinals hired uh, Cliff Kingsbury. I can't. A little shocking, right? I, I mean, it, I, was, I was super I surprised wanted, by this. I wanted Kingsbury to go to the NFL because I think he's good for the NFL. But I think he needs to learn to be – so I when is the last time Kingsbury was actually like involved in the NFL? When he played for the Patriots, he was backing up Tom Brady. But I mean, that's been ten years. Why? I mean, why are we giving him a head coaching speaking job in of, the NFL? Speaking right of which, now? maybe maybe the TB twelve method's pretty good. <laughs> Kingsbury was Tom Brady's backup a decade ago. Tom's still slinging it. Yeah, making the playoffs. Yeah, no, you're um, right. I, I just don't. You couldn't you couldn't be more than an eight or nine win team in college. Now I and think all of a it's sudden a little bit be, different. No, right? oh no, your caliber of talent, but I don't know. Listen, Arizona, you think they got much more talent than they had at Lubbock? No, no. But I think I think the talent discrepancy in uh in college is so different. Because you, you're, you're right. just you're not gonna be no. able to win if no, you don't have the horses in college. Um, and he did pretty well with what he had. I mean, you saw him this past year with a third string quarterback. Actually, I mean, it, what they ended up five and seven, but like they were competitive against really good teams. And their offense, it didn't matter who was back there at quarterback. They were like they were still figuring stuff out. I think with Josh Rosen, with David Johnson, I'd with, like to see him do well. I like those and guys, and, and I want to see him do he's well. He's got Larry Fitzgerald for at least another year. He might not. I mean, it, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, but, you know. Here, here's here's my here's my concern on this, and and this happens in sports all the time. It happens in business, and this is where I learned it. I believe that people get promoted to a point of failure. I believe that you're good at job A, so we're going to promote you to job B, and you're good at job B, so we're going to promote you to job C. But but A and B and C are so different in jobs. You can't just keep promoting people because they're good at something. Once they're really good at it. Let him be really good at it and let him just stay there. Let him be an OC and let him wake up in the morning and worry about nothing but offense because I do believe he's a great offensive mind. But now he's got to worry about team meetings and and, and, and building a staff, running defenses because you're still accountable for everything that happens on that side of the Keeping ball. Keeping professionals happy. Yes, like well, it, it handling – all the different uh, media obligations that you got to handle. If you're the OC, you don't have to do any of that crap. You show up, you go to work, and you go home. Yeah. I don't I don't get it. But anyway, I hope it works out. I don't believe in this hire. I I don't I think had it not been Arizona, 
I might would have felt better about it. So if he goes to Green Bay or New York, you think it's going to be better? I mean, maybe not. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't think. Had he when been I heard an people OC, talking about him being up for head coaching jobs in the NFL, I thought it was interviews. Like, I, I didn't think yes. he would actually get the job. I, I I thought somebody would hire him as an OC. If he was the next Titans OC, I would have been ecstatic. I would have been yeah. thrilled. But instead, now he's the Cardinals head coach, and you're going, well, like, I understand he's he's and pretty just, to look at. They just fired a guy after one season. What are you going to do if offensively you're looking better, but defensively you look like garbage and you still have the same record? I mean, you got a point. I don't know what they're going to do. But if you're Kingsbury, you can't say no. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you take the job. That's right. It was offered to you. It was offered to you. You take the job. You go out. You uh, you try and prove it. Uh, let's move on to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Bruce Arians. Now, you said on here multiple times that Arians had said he that the said, only job he would come out of retirement for was the Browns job. I heard him say it with his mouth. So that makes him a liar. Yeah. I don't understand this uh, at all. And, and not from the Tampa Bay perspective. Like, this is great for Tampa Bay. Like, unless they just offered him oodles of money. I have no idea. But even still. Uh, I would not want to coach Jameis Winston. That's where I'm coming Good from. luck. Good luck. The health problems you had at Arizona, good luck. This will be what finally gives him the stroke that kills him. Yeah. I mean, this is just... And it's not just Jameis. Here's the problem. They got rid of Dirk Cutter, and as, and as much as I wasn't a huge Dirk fan, like, the GM was the problem. The GM married himself to Jameis and will not let go of Jameis. And, and I just don't get that. And he's still there. He got to keep his job. Now, I, I will say this. Uh, it's pretty common knowledge that wherever Arians goes, Todd Bowles is going to be his DC. Yeah, oh no, no, yeah. So I, I would I think imagine we all assume. Like I said, I think Tampa Bay is all the better for it. I'm just curious: is is Bruce going to walk in and say, "We got to get this kid out of here"? I mean, maybe. I mean, you got what twenty million wrapped up in him this year? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we'll see what they do in the draft, right? But, but if you, yeah. I mean, in the draft, if they if they go out and they take a quarterback kind of early, um, or they could just be waiting around. Like they could completely tank with Jameis next year, and and set themselves up for Justin yeah. Herbert or Tua, Tua or yeah. whoever. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's it, it's an interesting predicament. I don't know why Bruce took the job. Um, I find it I find it very strange. I mean, it, you know, I, I would say he's going down to Florida. Like that's where people go to retire. Um, but he's going to Tampa. He's not that kind of guy, though. I mean, he's a football guy. He's a worker. I mean, he's a hard nose. Oh, he, he definitely tough, is tough guy. So he, you know, this is a guy that drank paint once just because he thought it'd make him tougher. Dang, that's, that's hardcore. That is hardcore. Falcons hired Dirt Cutter as their offensive coordinator. I think to, this to a, segue into this. I think this was a good hire. Yeah, this as is much fantastic. as I like crapping on Atlanta, get, I think this is a good get hire. him away from Jameis. Uh, he did good things with the offense. No, no. Dirk Dirk was not the problem, and I think this is one of those where maybe he got promoted to a point of failure. I would love to have him as my OC. Yeah, and, and this is this is a good spot. You have a right. grown-up in the room now, too, and that's what's important because you just had a child in that room for a long time. Yeah, I mean, you, you get to coach Matt Ryan and all of the ridiculous talent that the Falcons have. They got to protect Ryan. They got to get back to running the football a little better. But They, yeah. they got to – well, they got to shore up the defense. And and I think having well, that's Dan I think job. getting I think getting that's Freeman not job. well it it's the injuries right yeah. so getting some of those guys back healthy getting Freeman back at running back is going to help a lot um, yeah I mean yeah. I, I think the Falcons it's going to be pretty good let's talk about the Browns candidates to close out because uh, you are fired up about this I'm just not happy Let, but the, so I'm going to read through this list of coaches that they have interviewed already okay. Um, and, and your face can say it all if you want, or you can make a sound, or you can whatever you want to do. Just, just, read, uh, just get, go through the list. So, Freddie Kitchens, like, okay. Uh, Greg Williams, eh, you can understand that. Uh, Kevin Stefanski, Vikings OC for the last, like, four games of the yeah. year. Yeah, he got four, three, four games under his belt. Okay. Yeah, and, and didn't look great. Uh, Matt Eberflus, Eberflus. Probably the best candidate that, well, maybe not the best. Colts defensive coordinator. Yeah, their defense has looked it has looked really good really this year. Really good. Uh, Brian Flores, Pat's linebacker coach. I can't figure that one out. Um, 
Well, because he's got ties to Belichick. That's right? a terrible excuse. I'm uh, just saying. Dan Campbell, Saints associate head coach, and uh, what, tight end coach? coach? Yeah. I mean, if he's the assistant head coach of Sean Payton and he's learned under him for a while, then then maybe that's a pretty good resume. I mean, not maybe. That is a pretty good resume. I, I'll take somebody who has actually spent that much time under Sean Payton. But if he's a tight ends coach, I mean, you I don't know what else some... he does, and I don't know how good he is at building a staff and all these other things. I, I just – I'm very disappointed. This is a list that I'm not – with. And then the last, the uh, the only uh, former head coach here, Jim Caldwell. Oh yeah, that'll get you excited in the morning. Yeah, who, what did he, he coach the Lions and the uh, the Colts, and both of them to like losing records, right? Overall, and he wasn't terrible. I mean, he no, he, wasn't, he took things. the Lions he, to the playoff. He took the Colts to the. He playoffs. got the he got the Lions out of the cellar. Yeah, but couldn't get him over the hump. He's like the most boring coach on the planet, and. And it's this not team, something that excites your fan base. This team is, I mean, this is a Ferrari sitting in the garage just waiting for somebody to hop in and just give it Now, they're, they're going to interview Mike McCarthy eventually. Would you feel like him on McCarthy? the back burner? No, I mean, I don't know. I need to know how motivated McCarthy is because he wasn't motivated. But a lot of that could have been Rodgers was just, just unwilling to work with him. Who would you want? Bruce was the guy I wanted. And then I wanted to keep uh, Kitchens as the OC. That's what I. That's what I wanted, and I wanted Bowles as the the DC. Like that's 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 all I wanted in my life. I wanted Bruce. I wanted Bowles. I wanted Kitchens. That's the staff. What uh? All right. So so now that you can't have Arians, I can't have that. I don't know what I want now. I'm not. I don't know what I want. I, mean, I would have been very happy with Josh McDaniels, but Josh. That's not happening. Josh said I'm staying in New England. I'm not doing this again. Um, and, um, uh, I really don't know. So the college coaching names that have been floated out there, one is the most ridiculous name I've ever heard in my life. Two years of Kirby smart. And all of a sudden he's getting NFL job offers. That's the dumbest thing on earth. That guy wins because he's got immensely better talent than the other side. Yeah. That's it. That's the list. That's the only thing that makes him a good coach. Um, uh, Matt Rule's name got thrown out there. Matt Campbell's name has been floated out there, and uh, Fitzpatrick's name has been thrown out there. Uh, Fitzpatrick came out and said, uh, "Oh no, I don't think any of those guys are taking them." Yeah, uh, wait, no, Fitzgerald, right? Yeah, Fitzgerald. I'm sorry. Yeah, Fitzgerald yeah. from yeah Northwestern. Yeah, and and I don't think any of those guys are taking college jobs. But those, I do like that the NFL. Some I could see Matt Rule GMs taking this job. I wouldn't be upset because I love him so much. I don't know anything about what he knows about the league because it's a little bit different than college. No, it is. Uh, Not but, in the Big 12 no more. But he's a tough guy. and no, he, he, he'd be the one that I'd be the happiest with. I wanted to keep Kitchens. And uh, I really wish that there was a way to get Todd Bowles as D.C. Well, I mean, they are, so the Bucks haven't announced Todd Bowles as DC, but, but, but him and him and Bruce have they're just like attached great, to the yeah, hip. They got good ties. They're they're boys. They go they go a long way back. All right, next week we will uh, we will get into even more changes because I would imagine within a week uh, it, it will be something more crazy will happen. I would imagine. Um, so that's going to wrap up our NFL coaching changes for the week. <laughs> 